Hey guys, it's Bang for Buck PC Gamer here. As most of you all know by now, I'm an AMD R9 290 owner. I think it's a fantastic card and it's definitely a solid performer. It comes with 2600 unified stream processors, 4GB of GDDR5 running at 1250MHz and, and the core clock comes in at 947MHz. And all of this is running on a 512-bit bus. Right now here in the UK, you can actually get an R9-290 for as little as £227.99. I say as little because over a year ago at launch, I paid £329.99, which is over £100 more for the same card. I feel the R9-290's closest competitor is for NVIDIA GTX 780. And due to the arrival of the all new NVIDIA 900 series, the GTX 780 is now discontinued and as a result prices have come down even further. Right now you can actually get a GTX 780 for £215.99 which is actually amazing value when you consider what the card has to offer. It comes with 2304 CUDA cores, 3GB of GDDR5 running at 1502MHz and 863 MHz on the core clock which will boost to a minimum of 900 MHz but normally you'll get a little bit of a higher boost clock depending on the card you have and all of this is running on a 384 bit bus so that's the pricing and specs out of the way but how do these cards compare to each other in performance? I personally feel that these cards trade blows but it really just does come down to personal preference but as they say, talk is cheap, and I know you guys want to see some numbers. I happen to know someone with a GTX 780 and also has a fairly similar system to my own, so we decided to run a few benchmarks and share our results. We both ran all tests at the card's stock settings, and after we did that we also ran our cards at our maximum overclocks that we were able to achieve just for a bit of fun. So uh, take the overclock results with um, consideration because um, some cars overclock higher than some depending on your system and your configuration. But anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video.